So this video is looking at using the Algebra Balance Scales Virtual Manipulative. And the first thing that I want you to do is to create your own problem. So to do that, you're going to click Create Problem. In that box here, you're going to put 1x plus 3, and then you're going to put plus 8. We're going to leave this one here blank, and then I want you to hit Begin. So now we have an equation that says x plus 3 equals 8. What you're going to do is you're going to create that equation on the scale. So the left-hand side represents the left of the scale, and the right-hand side represents the right. So you're going to put your x tile, and you're going to add your 3. And on the right-hand side, you're going to put 8. Notice that as soon as you put 8, the scale balances. Now what you're going to do is figure out how to solve this equation. So we're going to hit continue. So what you want to do when solving algebra equations is to get your letter, get your variable, on the left-hand side by itself, which means we want it to just say x equals. We need to get rid of adding 3. So what you have to ask yourself is, what do I need to do to get rid of adding 3? Well, to get rid of adding, we actually need to subtract. We need to subtract 3. But what you'll notice is if I subtract 3 from the left, look what happened. I subtracted 3 from the right, and my answer is x equals 5. So now let's look at a new problem. So again, we're going to create a problem. We're going to maybe put 1x plus um, negative 2. Oh, it's not going to let me put a negative. Darn. Um, that's okay. We'll just look at that later. So we'll put 1x plus 2 equals 5. Again, we're going to create that. Locate like that. And we're going to make the 5 on the right hand side. So now again, we have to ask ourselves, how can we get x by itself? Well, we need to get rid of adding 2. How do we get rid of adding 2? We need to subtract 2. When we subtract it from the left, we're going to subtract it from the right, and there is our answer. So what we're trying to do here is build the equation, um, build the proper format for solving equations. When you actually do this on paper, you will show all your work, and that's going to be... Um, reviewed in another video. So let's look at what happens when we have 2x equals 4. So put a 2x there and put a 4 there. So 2x equals 4. So now we're going to put 2x's on the left. And we're going to put 4 blocks on the right. And as soon as we put 4, it balances. So again, we need to ask ourselves, what do we need to do to get x, get the variable by itself? So we need to get rid of the 2. And remember, 2x means 2 times x. So to get rid of multiplying by 2, we need to divide. And I'm gonna, if I divide the left-hand side by 2, I'm also going to be dividing the right-hand side by 2. When I do that, you'll see that my answer is x equals 2. So let's look at another one like that. Let's look at 3x equals 9. So I need to put 3x's on the left, and I need to put 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and as soon as I do that, it, it will balance. So how do I get rid of multiplying by 3? Well, I need to divide by 3, and that will solve. I divide both sides by 3. When I divide this side, the left-hand side by 3, I'm left with x. When I divide the right-hand side by 3, 9 divided by 3, I'm left with 3. Let's see if it will let me do one where I have a fraction. Hmm. Nope, it's not going to let me have one with a fraction. So um, we'll look at those in in the video uh, just think to yourself and i'm just going to open up um, a smart notebook file i just have to wait a second as it loads so what i want you to think about and we'll show 
I can't move this part, so that part's just going to stay gray, but I can put it in here. So I want you to think about what if the equation said x minus 3 equals 5? How do you think you'd get rid of subtracting 3? How are you going to balance this equation? Well, to get rid of subtracting 3, you need to add 3. To keep the equation balanced, if I add 3 to the left, I'm going to add 3 to the right, and I end up with 8. Likewise, what do you think you would do if it said that? Remember, this bar means divide. So I want you to ask yourself, how do you get rid of dividing by 2? Well, you get rid of dividing by 2 by multiplying by 2. And if I multiply the left side by 2, I'm left with just x. And if I multiply the right side by 2, I get 6. So that's just looking at um, some virtual manipulatives with solving equations. I would like you to go back to the um, virtual manipulatives, and I'd like you to make some of your own equations up. So again, you just do that by hitting Create Problems, and I want you to play around with it and see if you can figure out how you might solve. And here's an interesting one for you to think about. What if it said 2x plus 4, let's say, equals 10? Oh, it's not letting me put a 10 in, all right, um, equals 8. How do you think you're going to solve this one? So I want you to think about that. Play around with that. See if you can figure out how you might solve that one. And then create some other new problems of your own just to explore um, solving algebra equations before we go through a summary of how to formally solve them.